Good morning. I'm inspired to try something new this morning because I just took out this scarf. It's a burgundy cherry blossom. And I noticed that it has this gray bordering edge on it with the burgundy and yellow. And I was like, wow, I would never put these colors together on my own, like burgundy, dark yellow, and gray. But let's try it. So as you can see, I'm wearing a gray shirt, um, a dark yellow top and shirt underneath. And I'm also wearing a burgundy skirt. And I am going to try doing a triple crisscross tie. Now, this is going to be a real-time tickle tying experiment. Whenever I do this on video, it turns out really well. So I'm hoping that this will continue that trend. So I'm going to try doing a crisscross with three scarves instead of two. So I'm starting with my first one. I fold the cherry blossom in half because it's a very large scarf. And down. Oh, I will point out with my shaper again, this is a new shaper that we are going to be introducing soon, is that I have, I put my hair up in a high bun today, so the, um, the volume is quite a bit higher than what I usually do, but I like it. It's going to be a more high up regal type wrap. So here's my first scarf, and I tie it at the back. Now I have in my head how this is going to work, and let's just hope it actually turns out as I expect it to. Okay, so when we do the triple crisscross, we're going to start the first one just like a regular scarf on our heads. Now I'm taking my next exotic spice 2-in-1, which really has become my favorite color lately. And with the end hem hanging evenly, I'm going to tie it on an angle. And tie those ends underneath. There we go. It does not need to be too tight. And I want it to be far back enough that you can see the burgundy scarf underneath because that's really my favorite scarf out of all of these. Now I'm taking a gray two-in-one. I think actually this is a pewter, so it's like a dark gray. And I am gonna crisscross it the other way. There we go. Same thing, tie underneath. Now, usually with the crisscross, you bring the two ends to the side, um, but now because we have three, we're not going to be doing that. So, what is the next scarf? We're going to be doing the first scarf, and we're going to be going on the opposite end of the last, the opposite side of the last scarf that we did the crisscross. So, we did the last crisscross on this side, so our next one is going to be on this side. Take it. And obviously the crisscrosses are going to be a little thinner than when you do two scarves because we have a lot more scarf to deal with. We have one more whole scarf. So I'm taking this around. And again, because I want to reveal the burgundy the most, I'm really making these two quite thin. And I'm kind of casually tucking it in in the back. I'm not um, going to worry too much about that until the end. Now the next scarf is going to be the exotic spice. And it's going to be on the opposite side. It's going to be on this side. And again, with the crisscross, you just want to make sure the front end is neat. The end that is going to be exposed, the back, does not matter so much. Same thing, I'm going to tuck it in the back. I'm really not caring that much because I'm going to fix it all at the end. Next is the gray on this side. Wow, this is actually working well. Cheer me on. I hope this is a video that will actually get posted. Okay, here's the gray. Same thing, tuck it in the back. There we go. Next is going to be the burgundy scarf on this side. No, you can hear Shalomi crying, but good thing Abba is taking care of him while I make this video. So, next thing, 
the Burgundiska, and this is already getting a bit short, um, but that's okay. I don't think I tied the ends evenly. Doesn't matter because we're going to be covering this all up, tucking it in at the back. Next thing, exotic spice, dark yellow. Just really making sure all the ends are super duper smooth. And once again, tying it in at the back. Don't worry, I know it looks a bit messy, but that's okay. We're gonna be fixing it all with this gray scarf. Okay, so this is the last scarf. This is the one we really wanna concentrate and make sure that it's super smooth. Bring it up, have it cover any mistakes that you made. There you go, nice and flat. And then, Tuck that in at the back. And now is the time that you're going to be fixing the whole back. It is really just this technique of bringing everything in together. Bringing them all in. Now I can't see the back of my head right now, so I'm just really hoping that it looks decent. I'm going to take a mirror and look at the back of my head later and really fix it. But I'm sure you can understand. Cool, I like. I would call that a success. What do you think? Very good. Okay, so now it means you can really do the crisscross with three scarves. That's really awesome. So I'm gonna show you my outfit now, and then you can see how the burgundy and everything is being tied together. So I'm just continuing to fix. I wish I was able to make a video with a mirror seeing the back of my head. Maybe one day I'll be able to. I've done it before, but like it's so hard to see the back of my head. There we go. What do you think? Ooh. And obviously this can be done with three two-in-ones. It would probably be easier because like the cherry blossom scarf is a little bit thick. And so here we go. So check out. I'm wearing a burgundy skirt. You can't really see. I'm wearing a burgundy skirt right here and all these colors coming together, okay? Enjoy, bye.